Hey folks, Doc Hansen here with another Good Time Guitar. Uh, today I've got a lovely 1963 Epiphone EC30 uh, made in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, so you might know some of the history about Epiphone and Gibson guitars. Gibson bought the Epiphone Guitar Company in 1957. They ended up moving all the manufacturing Epiphones to their Kalamazoo plant. Uh, so Epiphones made in the 60s uh, were made in Kalamazoo. <clears throat> now this one was made in 1963. This is spec-wise exactly the same as a Gibson CO nylon string guitar. Uh, <clears throat> they started making the uh, Epiphone EC30s in 62. Uh, they made them from 62 to 69. Uh, so this is a pretty early version. <clears throat> a couple things about that. In 1964, they changed the bracing on these. Uh, they made them, the bracing heavier. So this one has the lighter bracing. Uh, they had some issues as far as belly bulge uh, on these guitars. Now this is zero belly bulge in here. Absolutely no bridge lift. Uh, it's in great shape. Uh, lighter bracing is giving you, give you a little richer tone. This also has ladder bracing, not fan bracing. So you're gonna get a very different sound out of this than a traditional classic guitar. These are really designed or meant for sort of folk kind of guitar playing, not for. So not your traditional classical in that sense. A couple things, more things about this guitar. Now, if you look at these guitars, you see them online, oftentimes you're going to see this uh, <coughs> decal rosette um, around the sound hole is flaked off, some of it's missing, very common with these earlier Gibson slash Epiphones that had this type of decal around the sound hole. This one is in perfect shape. In fact, this guitar is the nicest, uh, as far as shape goes, uh, early 60s Gibson Epiphone nylon string that I've ever had, and I've had several of these. Uh, the top is solid, no structural issues on the top. You know, a little finish checking, which is very common. As I mentioned, no uh, belly bulge, no bridge lift whatsoever. Uh, <clears throat> if we go around to the sides, you'll see that there uh, was uh, what looks to be a little glue repair here as far as the, the back onto the sides, very common with these types of guitars especially the EC30s and the C0s, COs, that did not have any back binding. So <clears throat> very common repair, uh, obviously does not affect the guitar sound at all. Uh, no cracks on the back. I mean, really just a wonderful shape. Uh, fretboard is in great shape. Uh, neck is in great shape. These tuners, um, oftentimes these tuners fail on these older Gibson Epiphones. These are the best working tuners of guitar this vintage that I've ever had. Uh, they really are smooth, they work great. Um, <clears throat> now, you know, I've cleaned the guitar up, I lubricated the tuners, I cleaned up the fretboard, I uh, leveled and dressed the frets here. Um, it, it just really plays great. So if you're looking for a US made nylon string guitar uh, from the 1960s, this is a beauty to try out. Um, you're gonna love it, so check it out. A Gibson EC30 from 1963. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.